Hey, here's TJ to give us some info on that 2010 Nash Colt. The 2010 Nash Colt still remains one of my favorite kites in the Nash lineup this year. Really allowing me to peel up wind away from the sandbar in these onshore conditions we have. You can see in the canopy how nice and stable that kite remains in very gusty conditions, still blowing about 10 to 25 plus. The upwind tack is easily accessible because I can find the sweet spot in this kite and just keep it parked. The flatter canopy in the center of the kite really provides for a little bit more power than the Colt had in the generations past. And you can really allow that canopy to just sit steady the whole time. Never really any luffs in the canopy. I think the stability has a lot to do with Nash's patented geotech framing system. The way that they make that canopy taut in the actual stitching of the kite. The way the segments are laid out, you can tell how it doesn't luff, stays stable, just really controlled, especially at the high wind of the wind range. 2010 Nash Colt still proves to be one of my favorite kites. Wow, the 2010 Nash Colt. What a great all performance kite. This thing does everything well. It sheets the gusts out just as well as the other two kites. It's on about 24 meter lines right now, so it feels just right. All in all, I'd have to say that this is one of my favorite Nash kites for 2010. It's got just tremendous range, really good jump abilities. I think it'll be fun in the surf as well. Back over to the Pro Pond just to take a look at how this kite depowers in the sky when the quick release is engaged. By pushing the smart loop away from me, my leash is now attached to the yellow line, which is attached to one center line, which makes this kite really easy for self-landing and or self-rescue. Still loving the 2010 Colt.